They sack him back at the 42. Off the edge, Jerry Hughes gets the sack. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. That one good for a first-down pickup of 18 yards. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them. And they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Taking it in from 14 yards out. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments, let them run it in, they did it. Fundamental football, good blocking, beats good tackling on that play, and result, touchdown. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a Le'Veon Bell touchdown run. This is taken at the three. And an excellent return there as he's up to the 35, but make it the 40-yard line. Now the big play pushes him all the way out to the 40 now for first down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen sliding out of the pocket. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up Isaac. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Tyron Matthew, normally known for the pass coverage, this time a sack. But that tends to start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy, make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Here's Allen to throw it. And the grab by Croft. A gain of four on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 27, Allen escaping the pressure right. And he slides to avoid the hit. Seven yards there and a first down. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Ball start, offense. No oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. Out to his left. Allen hit. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the defense. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit, 
and in this case, lose the football. No, Should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. On second down now, it's Bell. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Bell. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware the ball may come your way. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. A gain of 13. It's a first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Mahomes will bring him up first and 10, and he's hit on all six of his throws on this drive. Over the middle complete, that's Rice. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando with John. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Le'Veon Bell with his second touchdown here in this first half. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Finitary able to tack on the P.A. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And it ends with a Le'Veon Bell touchdown run. Fielded about a yard deep. Now a hit and a loose football. It's going the other way. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And he's going to bring the fumble back for a touchdown. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. Benatari connecting on the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground with McCoy this time. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Throwing on second and 14. Allen looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Boy, he ran free. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jamin Ramsey. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And a nice spin into some open field. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 47 yards. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. 
15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Mahomes going to pull it out and keep it himself. And it's caught. Touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This fielded at the two. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and ten. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The D tackle, Sheldon Richardson, came barreling in for the sack. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. This one taken from the seven. And they'll have good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Here we go. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. He'll get about... He's brought down right around the 42. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. Touchdown! Phillip Lindsay, 58 yards. And this offense is running away with this one. So a big-time scamper there to cap a touchdown on the opening drive. Sets a tone, establishes not what you call a dominance, but a really good feeling for the team that just scored. But I've got to ask you, partner, what do the analytics say about that type of a run? Does it establish anything else for them? <laughs> Finitary able to tack on the PAT, and the lead will swell by one more. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And it was capped off by a Philip Lindsay touchdown run. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. First down, over the middle here to Brown. Well, if you do read man covers, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. On second down, it's McCoy. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play, first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. 
Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Tyler Croft, the tight end, the one he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. And that's when he's got to be happy to have that. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around, they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. On second down. It's McCoy, and shedding the tackle, and now some room. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. LaShawn McCoy, 29 yards, and the Bills are in for six. Throughout the game, we're going to track so many different statistics, but one is becoming increasingly in vogue, explosive runs, runs of 20 yards or more, and we just saw one right there to open this game. Now we'll see how the other team responds, because when you get a play like that against you this early in the game, you got to feel like your back's against the wall a little bit. Yeah, the pressure now increases on you because your first thought is we have to answer right now. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and ten. Here's a give to Lindsey. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And touchdown. Philip Lindsey, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And this offense continues to pour it on. Vinatieri now for the point after. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So that about as lengthy a drive as What's you're up? ever going to see. And it was capped off by a Philip Lindsay touchdown run. This will be fielded at the six. And he loses the football a second time. And the defense will get their hands on it. Going the other way. And they will take over at the 26. I'm still at 82 right now. And that one is his second fumble loss. Not a good look out of your return, man. And not only does he hurt the momentum for his team or even change the momentum of the game, but now they've got No, a I'm doing solos so right now. Does he continue to do that? Do you, do you keep him in that role or do you bring someone else in at this time? Looks to me like maybe Who'd you get? attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling that defense gets going. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And this offense oh, yeah? is running away with this one. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this yeah. one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on what? his back. He's not minding the extra That's at all, is it? stupid, bro. Just as Damn. As he owes the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. And those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And it was capped off by a Philip Lindsay touchdown run. This one taken from the seven. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29. Nice. I uh, just got Tyreek Hill, the power-up card. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they so. get set to take over here. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling yeah. that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. So. Oh, nice. In this case, okay. Are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution, or did they think just, they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, but they just needed. Allen hit. He lost the football. A place like this where the ball comes free, it's all oh, nice. The team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. Dude, that Philip Lindsay that I got, that's an 84 overall. 
So it doesn't have he doesn't have like a uh, X Factor, but I was able to give him one. Oh my gosh, dude. He breaks tackles like no other. Like I wish I could upgrade this guy, but I can't. Cause he'd be like really OP. Ooh, nice. He got me with the hits that Damn computers. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Buffalo. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. On first down, it's Lindsay. Get out of here. He's got some space. Pass the 20. And all the way in for the touchdown. Four touchdowns. Philip Lindsay. 59 yards. And this offense continues to pour it on. So what was already a game to remember becomes even more so as that touchdown run, a lengthy one, takes him over 200 yards now for the game. And I love the fact that to get over 200, it took a pretty good sprint, didn't it? I mean, a lot of times you get one or two yards and you're, oh, he's over 200 yards. But that really put an exclamation point on the game he's having. Fantastic. A lot of fun to watch. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Mike 59, Mike 59, come to my world. We want it. Come to it. Here's Allen on first and 10. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed runner. He's much more of an inline blocking type what of the? tight end. But how about this last play? Oh, you got to be shitting me, bro. And Jones gets in. Touchdown, Buffalo. A big play there. 64 yards. And the Bills claw one back. That's a whole lot of points still to you gotta be down. kidding me, bro. Well, congratulations, they're still fighting, and they scored another touchdown. My old high school coach used to say, Charles, he said, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes you wish you never had showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Could have saved the gas money, the hotel, <laughs> what have you, huh? Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort, at least. No, you can't at all, and if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation and now you can go back and dissect it so if you need it again sometime maybe you'll find a better way to do it but yeah this game's pretty much done for them seven yards on the pickup there and it'll leave them with a second and three bottom line they want to keep this clock rolling so they'll take that one right there they just want to keep falling forward and they want to put the onus and the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home 22 yards there a first down do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first doesn't it i do believe someone put a lot of time in in the off season and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate Looking to throw on second down. Mahomes buying time to his left. They'll get to him just inside the 15-yard line. And even after that fancy footwork we saw, good job defensively to recover. On third down, here's Bell. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as he'll stop him well short of the yellow line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one. He's down. Get the fuck out of here, bro. What the hell is this shit? And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So we were looking at each other up here in the booth when they went for that, saying, oh, wow. Talk about trying to add insult to injury. Some teams are just like Allen. He lost the football. Boom. 
Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. It's a loss of two, now third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill. They the panic that jumped me. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Job, Cream. Let's go. They've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even Oh, yeah? Outside. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? Nice. You're pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to LaShawn McCoy. And it's second down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown. And yeah, that'll make it third down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. He's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason it seems to work better. When I cannot down. believe I freaking gave up 200 yards to freaking Buffalo. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They'll run on first down. Lindsey. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know. Well conditioned. And he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak. Late in ball game. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that's <laughs> pressure, and now you, can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Well, fourth quarter, they feel like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. Nice. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. The Let's go. Minus two yards brings up third down. Nice job. Congratulations. Defeating the Madden He's Ultimate good. Team. Gonna Solo challenge. We're going to watch that kiddo. Or that kiddo. There he is.